You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. Today is also Mardi Gras. So let's continue talking about what is coming tomorrow. Today, we are still in ordinary time, the liturgical season of ordinary time, where we see our priests wearing green, but tomorrow marks the beginning of Lent. Much will change as we enter the Lenten season. And in fact, today, Mardi Gras has its origin in a Christian tradition. Now, If you look out into the world, Mardi Gras is celebrated in a way that does not necessarily seem very connected to God or Christianity, but Mardi Gras is something that grew out of the tradition that we hold as Catholics with our liturgical year, and here's why. So Mardi Gras actually are two French words, Mardi and Gras, and this means Tuesday fat, or as we would say in English, fat Tuesday. Now, why is fat Tuesday something that grew out of a Christian tradition? Well, it's because of tomorrow, because tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. It begins the season of Lent when we are called to fast, to pray, and to give. And in fact, Ash Wednesday is a day of fasting, even more so, even though you've decided to give up candy or whatever it is during the whole of Lent. Ash Wednesday, if you are old enough, you are called to even greater level of fasting. Maybe you eat only very small meals. That would be a good thing to do on Ash Wednesday. So for centuries, practicing Christians have decided to have a little bit of a feast the day before Lent begins so that they can truly enter into this season of fasting. Now, remember, Catholics are not just about fasting and suffering. We're also about celebrating, about having big parties and eating delicious food and being with good company. And so I encourage you to get into the liturgical season today to enjoy a dessert, to have a delicious meal. And don't overdo it. Of course, we never want to to go to excess. But really know that tomorrow starts a different season. So let's celebrate the season we are in maybe that last little bit of Christmas celebration before we enter into Lent. Remember, Lent is a time to walk with Christ through all of his suffering so that we are prepared to stand with him at the foot of the cross. Now, tomorrow when you go to Mass on Ash Wednesday, there are many beautiful symbols, many beautiful things that we see and experience there that are part of helping us enter into this Lenten season. But before we get there, enjoy today. Enjoy this moment of celebration that we have. We will return to this with Easter joy in a a couple of weeks. But know that celebrating today is a good way to prepare for fasting tomorrow and for the next 40 days. And so Sprouts, my challenge for you is to eat something delicious. That's it. And if you have yet to set your Lenten resolutions in the areas of give, pray, and fast, I also encourage you to do that so that you are ready with a willing heart to enter into Lent tomorrow. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be.
just one more thing. We are excited to announce that the Domestic Church Project app is open and enrolling families all week long. So if you would like to add one of our amazing whole family programs to your Lent, including our audio version of the Jesus Tree, we encourage you to come and join us. There is so much in this app for Catholic parents and their whole families. We have thriving small groups, formation for parents on Catholic social teaching, and so much more. To learn all about our app and to join us, simply check the notes for this podcast episode. Thank you.